Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Southeast Termite and Pest Control. How can you protect your home from excess moisture, from mold and mildew, and from bugs? Well, you call Southeast Termite and Pest Control. You ask them about their pest control services, and you ask them about their crawl space encapsulation services. They do both better than anyone else in East Tennessee. I can say this because these guys have protected my home for the last several years. I'm a big believer. The Haynes family does a great job. SoutheastTermite.com. They've been around for more than 50 years. Southeast Termite and Pest Control. All right, let's welcome in two more VFLs for today's <laughs> show. We have right there VFL Daniel Hood. Thank you for being here, Daniel. And next to yeah. him, the other part of the Joy Boy team. Whoa! <laughs> we, got, uh, we got Sterling Hinton. I knew someone would wear a black shirt. That looks good. Hey, it's, man, it's hey, good I, look. I'm, I'm trying to get up to, to the producer level. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> like pocket square. Yours shows up. Mine doesn't show up on this show. All right. Uh, Sterling Hinton, Daniel Hood, Marlon Walls. Good Gentlemen, thanks you. for being here. I want to quickly, this is our segment that we call Progress Report. And it would be easy to sit here and say, well, Jalen Hyatt's made progress. Hinton Hooker's made progress. The guys who always get their names called, who we've talked about a long time, all those guys have made progress. Heck, there aren't many guys on this team who haven't made progress, which again talks to how good this staff uh, right. has, has done so far, uh, how well the staff has done. But let me ask you guys, and I'll start with Daniel, maybe some guys who haven't gotten as much attention, at least so far this season, that have made progress. Daniel, I'll let you go first. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with my surprise group of the year for Tennessee, which is the offensive line. I thought there'd be a big drop off, but... Darnell Wright picking it up, you know, had eight sacks over the last two years, hasn't given up any, and uh, got to play against Will Anderson for Alabama. But he stepped up, only given six pressures the entire year. So I thought he's he's played well, going to make some money with what he's done this year. Yeah, they had a uh, during the game they had a uh, the director of the Senior Bowl came on and said he's probably moved himself from a th day three pick to possibly a day two pick. Yeah. Um, uh, he's also, if you go back and look at the Pro Football Focus grades, which. I don't know who it is that's doing their grades. I trust them for pro football <laughs> with college football. When, when, you, when you're telling me you got grades for the games at Tarleton State, I'm like, who's doing your grades? <laughs> uh, but they have Darnell Wright better every single year up that he's at Tennessee. Up 20 points this year over oh, last year. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, Sterling Hinton, who you got? My, mine is like a two-hit monster. Okay. I'm going with Solon Page and Princeton Fan. I mean, these two guys here have played for three head coaches. Right. And they you guys know a little something about that. <laughs> yeah, we've got some Five history. Five if you yeah. count the interns. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, no, and they, 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 they sh in my opinion, exemplify the true volunteer spirit. They waited their time to shine. I mean, these guys are, was it six years, seven years seniors? I'm not even sure how many years you got for COVID. <laughs> but they waited for their time, and they're making contributions. I mean, Princeton Fan is behind two five-star tight ends, and he's play he came as a wide receiver and making play after play after play. In different ways. In different ways. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They got him yeah. at H back. They got yeah. him at tight end. He's running the ball. Full back. Throw, throwing the ball. Yeah, I was thinking of you were on the team, Vaughn Reeves against Va Florida Va in nineteen ninety. Have they had a touchdown? Similar play. Have, to, they had a to touchdown from, have they had a touchdown pass from a tight end since then? That'd be something to reach for. I don't know. I, I, don't I, I, don't I, sign I, it to me. Yeah, I thought that, you were that. <laughs> you, you, well, we'll get him to the almanac. Jimbo will get it. Okay. <laughs> Jimmy, get on that. Jimmy, get, but the deal is, then you got, you know, Solon Page. He gets in there, he yep. makes plays, he makes quality minutes, giving guys mm -hmm. a time to rest on defense, that linebacker. He even lines up at strong safety sometimes. So you got guys that are showing the true volunteer spirit, waiting their time to shine, okay. and making quality contributions to the team to win. All right, very good. Who's making progress? All right, I'm going to put in uh, uh, Tamaria McDonald. All right, uh, Memphis kid, got a chance to watch this kid grow up. I'm always going to go back to the roots. Uh, but in a secondary that we're very uh, unsure of, mm -hmm. a lot of injuries, um, and we, we're, we're looking for some guys to kind of make some plays. We've probably given up the most plays uh, out of a position group as far as defense goes. But to Mary McDonald, every game he's there, we was unsure about the star position coming into this season. Yeah. He's pretty much sured it up. Uh, very good tackler, long guy, uh, does a good job of taking away some of the tight end stuff. Uh, so I'm going to go to Mary McDonald. He surprised me this season. All right, very good. Very good, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, when we, I tell you what, I'll throw in one more. we got to get a break, but I'm going to throw in. Karat Garland, when I, I mentioned pro football focus, I thought this was interesting. He's their highest graded defensive lineman right now. So Karat Garland gets a tip from Pro Football Focus. When we come back, Justin Hamilton is going to join me over at our, our little side set here, and we're going to break out the YP board. And we, he's going to break out the YP board and show you exactly how Josh Heupel's offense works. Come on back on the Sports Source. <laughs> 